that the nail is actually helping push the string down into the guitar a bit. This is going to help in getting a fatter tone, and also later more of a variety of tone if he wants. Person number four, as you can see, has filed his nail in a slightly different type of ramp. It goes slightly downward. This is good if you're the type that plays straight on to the guitar, not at a particular angle. Again, the important thing here is, though, that he's using all of his nail. He's starting where he should, the string's traveling, this time down the ramp, and exiting at the other side of the nail. It's more of a straight line again, but he's using all of his nails. So either of these ramps will work. Number three is a little bit more versatile and probably more widely used for a good reason, but they'll both do fine, just as long as you're using all of your nail. So, just to explain with the real nail here, again, the string is starting there. It's traveling, 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 and exiting way over here. That's a lot more nail than people one and two in the diagrams before did. They exited here. These guys are exiting over here. So I want you to experiment with that and try to do the same thing. It really does make a big difference. Let's talk about equipment now. There's some basic equipment we all should have. Let me, let me go over these. You can probably see them on your screen now. There's this type of na nail file here. Now, this is commonly called, I've, I've heard it commonly called, a diamond deb nail file. This is probably not, uh, it probably doesn't have real diamonds on it because it didn't cost me that much money. It was like $2. But you can see it has this like, sort of dust on the file. I'm kind of moving it around so it's glint in the light there. And that's probably some sort of metallic dust that's on there. And that, that files your nail very finely and carefully. We have two sides. We have a shaping side, turn it over, and you have a finishing side. When given a choice, I always use the smoothest side. I use the finishing side. The shaping side is a little rough. In fact, if it's a new file, which this is, what I do is I take some sandpaper or something and I, I go over the edge of the finishing side to make it even smoother. The smoother, the better. Okay? It's like a fine tuning knob on your stereo. Okay, nail file number one, good, A+. Plus. Nail file number two, let's take a look at this. Now this is a common nail file. This is a larger version of what you'll find, let's say, in a, in a nail clipper set, you know, the kind that folds out. And this kind is like a grid. It's a metallic grid. There are lines that are carved into this metal here, this metal plate. That's bad because that's going to really grind your nail up like crazy. You might as well, you know, go to the curbside and file your nail. So that nail goes over there, that nail file. Bad, bad, bad. And here's something that looks a little weird. It looks a little worn out. This is what I've been using now for two years. This cost me like $1.50 if that. And it's great because it's got four sides. It's got, you can see in this case, it's got, uh, it's got a dark blue, light blue, and two shades of pink. And uh, for those of you who have black and white TV, I'll just explain what the different sides do. You have a, a, quite a rough side here, less rough, even less rough, and less, less, less rough. So you, basically the grades get finer as you go. I like these a lot because they're bigger, they, you know, you can really get them underneath your nail there, and you have the finishing sides that you can, that I certainly use. Now this has, is worn out a bit, but it's lasted me a couple years, so that's pretty amazing, I think. Now let's move these because I want to talk about this paper here, all right? This is a very fine grade sandpaper. This is 500 grade. And in fact, this light blue or light gray shade of paper is, is an even special, um, a more special type of paper. It's like a, I think, wet and dry, they call it, uh, finishing paper. And this is what I do with this. What I do with this is you take, it comes in sheets like this, first of all. I buy them in sheets. It's not expensive at all. What you do is you take off a little bit here. Okay, this is really interesting, isn't it? I mean, this is drama. Yeah, not quite square, but it's all right. Now I have myself a little piece of finishing paper. What I do now is, again, I like really fine stuff. So this is fine already, but I'll take this and I'll... 
I'll rub it against the other sheet of paper. Rub, rub, rub. Until I get this down even finer. Oh, that's pretty good right there. And then you carry this in your pocket and you fold it up, put it in your nail, your, um, your guitar case. This is going to last you quite a while. And, of course, you have the rest of this big sheet here to tear off little bits here and there. Uh, really good for the nail. I would suggest this highly. Very good. Now, about filing the nail itself. This is what you want to do. I'll use my, my uh, World War II special here. All right. You always file looking at your fingernails like this. Never like this or like this. Always facing straight at your face. You take the nail file and you just put it slightly underneath your nail there at an angle and you start filing away. Now it's underneath the nail. It's not straight on. It's underneath. Not straight on, but underneath. And as you can see in the diagram, it's on your screen there. You kind of eyeball down the file. Down the file there. And that's the angle you want to look at your nail at. All right? Now what you're seeing there, when you eyeball it down the file like that, is you're seeing the edge of your nail. That's an opposite view of what the string is seeing. So that's a good, good angle to look at. And you're looking for a straight line. About this straight line. Here we go. Now look at this. Now I'm, I'm kind of contorting myself for the camera here, but don't forget you're looking at your nails the other way. This is just to show you how we should file. You got the file underneath the nail here, and you're filing away. Now, you're looking down the file. Remember like the eyeball diagram indicated? Now, here we go. You're looking at the edge of your nail, and you should see a straight line. See that straight line? Try it again. There you go. There you go. You should be seeing more or less a straight line on the edge of my nail. That's what you're aiming at. But now, okay, now, for filing, you pick your angle. In this case, I'm doing a slight, just a very slight ramp. I don't use as much of a ramp as, as some. I pick my angle, and I start filing. I file straight. All right, I don't round off all nice and pretty. All right, I'm filing for tone here, not like beauty, you know. So here we go. We file straight, we file straight, we file straight until we come to the desired length. And then now, if you, fi if you find that the corner's a little too sharp, you just take the file and you do that a few times. Don't round it off nicely. Just take the edge off the corner if it's too sharp. Okay? Now, about the thumb. Just a quick mention. The thumb has a little angle to it also, but it's the other way. The only reason I do this is to avoid a lot of nail on this side here so it doesn't catch when I play. And what this does is, again, you can see sort of a straight line there, see? And this, this fits or conforms itself to my string when I put the thumbnail down. 